on an average 30% of the student visa gets rejected but in past few months that percentage has spiked to 60% so in this video let's discuss what happened why it happened and how you can save yourself from rejection Just to give you some background, international students who wish to study in Canada need an entry visa and a study permit. There has been a significant rise in the visa application for students among Canada due to declining interest in Australia and New Zealand. And you know the reason why people are not interested in studying in New Zealand and Australia. So most of the students are interested in Canada. According to IRCC in 2021, there were around 620,000 international students studying in Canada. And this number increases every year. And now if there will be increase in visa application obviously there will be a rise in the visa rejection so that has also increased but there are some most common reasons why student visa gets rejected also the students who applied for bachelor degrees suffered the most rejections as compared to students who applied for the doctorate degrees so now let's talk about the reasons for rejection but before that i just want to quickly mention about upi global upi college has around 1000 students going for degree programs in september intake and general January intake who already got the approval. So I was talking about the visa rejection for bachelor degrees. So here UPI will be able to help you. Additional, they can help you get your degree at half price and time with the credit transferred. So your dream to come to Canada on a study visa can be made true by UPI. We have already done a detailed video on UPI Global. There is a link down below. You can book a consultation with them as well. Now let's talk about the reasons for rejection and the remedies for those as well. So first top reason that was mentioned by IRCC is financial insufficiency. Proof of adequate fund for the first year of the program is minimum requirement to study in Canada. However, the Canada student visa application may be rejected if the immigration officer suspects financial insufficiency. Now, the solution for this is applicants can address this problem by ensuring proof of adequate finances for more than one year along with other documents supporting the finances. Second reason is choice of program. If the visa officer questions the choice of the program opted by the applicant, your Canadian student visa might get rejected. In case where the chosen program does not align with the applicant academics or employment background, the chances of visa rejection is increased. Now the solution for this is you can include a detailed personal statement for the choice of program in case it does not align with your previous work experience or educational academics. For the applicants whose choice aligns with the previous background, a detailed education history or work history can be attached with the application. Now let's talk about third reason which is English language capability. Non-native English speaker international students are required to submit a proof of language proficiency. Applicants are required to meet the minimum standardized English language test score. Even if the applicant has the minimum score required, failing to meet the program requirements may result in rejection of the student visa. So the solution to this problem is applicants must ensure that the minimum score requirements for the specific program are met to ensure that the study permit is not denied. Also, you know that you have to work on your IELTS score. The better your IELTS score will be, more weight it will give to your application. So here I will talk about the Cambly app that will be very useful. Cambly is the only app in India that provides one-on-one -on -one private English classes with tutors from the USA, Canada, UK. This is very useful for people who know how to read, write, but struggle in speaking English. You can choose to take IELTS course and mock speaking courses to get your target band. The interface is very intuitive and you can quickly talk to a native English tutor and practice for IELTS test. But try before you buy. So use this code, get a 15 minute session which is worth 99 rupees for only 29 rupees so take advantage of the offer download the application let's talk about another reason next reason is letter of acceptance a letter of acceptance from canadian dli is required to apply for a study visa if the applicant's acceptance letter is in question the canada student visa might be rejected along with the letter of acceptance the applicants are required to meet the minimum entry requirement for specific institution if the visa officer doubts that the minimum requirements are not met by the applicant, the visa may be rejected. One of the solution is that you can get in touch with the UPI global team. They may also help you to get the acceptance letter. Let's talk about other solution as well. Make sure that the institute you are applying is a registered institute. Also ensures that the documents attached as proof or minimum requirements are sufficient. If you want, you can also attach additional documents. Now let's talk about next reason. Incomplete travel or identity documents. In case there are too many blank spaces in the travel history with lack of proofs of supporting evidence to cover those period, the study permit may be 
rejected. If the identity documents are incomplete or not easy to read even, the chances of visa rejection are increased. Now let's talk about how you can avoid it. You must ensure that the travel history is justified. There are no blank spaces in between and also provide sufficient documents and evidence. The identity document provided must be clear and should be easily readable for ensuring that the visa is not rejected. Next reason that is very very important and it is the most common reason I would say. Intent to return to home country. As a study permit is a temporary visa, it has a validity period, you know that. The applicant is required to submit enough proofs of intent to return to home country. Although it is not justified because uh, people who are coming on a study visa, mostly they have intent to stay in Canada forever. The intent is to get the PR. The study visa is not meant for that, but still you can address this concern by providing a detailed statement and showing strong ties in your homeland, showing them that you will go back after studying in Canada. Next reason is biometric rejection. If a student fails to submit any biometric requirement or the biometric are not correctly scanned, the Canadian Embassy has whole right to reject it. How you can avoid it? Students are advised to upload the correct biometric and on timely manner. Last reason is due to the COVID-19. Due to this COVID situation, Canadian flights from India were banned for a long time. Approximately 300,000 backlogged students are applying for the study visa. Due to higher demand of student accommodation in Canada, Canadian Embassy is rejecting students with poor score in English language and financial independence. This is done to filter better students for education in Canada and students with poor education profiles can improve. So how you can avoid it? Obviously you can improve your English language capabilities, English language score basically and for that you can check Cambly app. So basically overall the situation is not good I would say but this has happened due to the backlog and what was happening in two years plus declining in the students visa application in New Zealand Australia also put a burden on Canada embassy as well because so many students are applying for study visa in Canada. So we have discussed all the reasons and the remedies as well. If you have any question you can check out the UPI global video that will have all the details plus do not forget to utilize the Cambly offer the link is in the description. And also if you are planning to come to Canada and you are not aware of the immigration program there is a link down below you can book a consultation with the licensed immigration consultant he will be able to guide you which immigration program is suitable for you to move to Canada see you in next video good luck